Okay, so we're going to call, what was it again? Um, the load request. Load request, and again here it tells you that this is going to be an NSURL request. And, um, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the end bracket in here so we don't forget. And uh, we're going to have to do a um, bracket around this to call that. So what we'll do here is uh, do an NSURL request. And uh, again, you drill down into the API reference. And um, one thing that you can do here is call a class, class method called request with URL. Okay, so we're going to call um, the NSURL request and we're going to do a request with URL, request with URL, and it's going to require an NSURL URL, URL type. Okay, fine. Um, go ahead and bracket that and, uh, and then we're going to say, all right, um, jump to request with URL and uh, it's going to be an NSURL type, the URL. All right. Um, NSURL url with string this is the first thing that I suggest now the url with string um, isn't oh and it's that url just click on that and um, and uh, url with string is another class class method you call on on NSURL and you type in your uh, HTTP address in here okay now this is kind of um, and again what I would recommend you do is uh, in each one of these items uh, do an API look up the API reference and read on it and see if this can make sense to you. Um, when you first look at this, you're kind of going, whoa, why, you know, why didn't Apple just have, have a simpler method that you can call on a UI web view to say, uh, load URL with string and uh, just use this. It would seem simpler instead of having it this part of a nested, um, I guess a URL with string returns an NS URL, which a request with URL requires or an NSURL requires that you have to give to a load request. I mean it's kind of a uh, it's kind of silly but um, but it, these are one of the methods that you um, may want to uh, copy and keep in your general Xcode development cheat sheet. So I have one of those cheat sheets and um, uh, there's like these little um, uh, nice to knows that are good and um, and I uh, wrote this down so one of my lessons you know there's a lot of notes that I have here and one of them is um, this uh, um, loading a web page okay so adding a web view into a view define your IB outlet so I basically um, you define the IB outlet and then you just can copy and paste this particular code into so you don't have to remember this whole long thing. Um, the other thing is, is that um, in object oriented uh, programming, there's a book by uh, Stephen Cohen, uh, Programming Objective C 2.0, uh, where he talks about the define method and um, where you can define, for example, a long string like that and input that in your code. Uh, so I would like to get uh, your thoughts about maybe using something like that instead of using this. But you know, do you, would that make your code um, more usable or less usable? Um, I I um, I'd be curious about what people think about that. Anyway, um, so now we have this awake from nib, and basically what this says is the view controller. Um, this is basically a delegate function or method that basically says, hey. Um, uh, 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 execute this once you you loaded your nib into your view, and um, 
So we're going to do a control, a command B for, to save and uh, compile this. And uh, now we do another sh uh, uh, command shift R and then command R to run our program and to see if we load our web page. And we didn't. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. See what be. Oh, yeah. This doesn't uh, put in www.cartisipate.com. We don't have to put the www in there, so maybe we just put in cartisipate.com. Build command shift R. And there it is. All right, we loaded our web page, and, uh, uh, and it's all good. All right, so, um, and here's our map view, but there's no back and forwards, and we'll cover that on another, another topic. But uh, that basically concludes the, the web page. Um, the other thing I also wanted to show you real quick is um, one of the things that you can do that for debugging is you can put in little things like NSLog, um, at uh, and put some kind of um, any kind of statement in here. Okay, so here we uh, call the um, web page load request. In the awake from nib uh, method. All right, so on control uh, command B on this. Oops. Oh. Semicolon, of course. Command B. Command Shift R. And notice when you then run your program, you'll see that um, this message gets called in your uh, debugger console. So this is a good uh, debug method. You can place these NS logs all over in your code. So if something's not working, you can place that in there, kind of see, okay, what gets called, what doesn't. And, and uh, because sometimes, you know, a method that never gets called and you scratch your head, why does that not happen? But that, that concludes our, uh, 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 our, our tutorial. I hope um, you uh, liked it. It was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment. I will be responsive. And, uh, and any other thoughts or ideas that you have, um, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Uh, happy participation.